welcome back to my channel this video is going to be a bit of a makeup revolution haul video a couple of these palettes i already had and i just wanted to bring these so i could kind of do swatches of it and that is the reloaded affection and the reloaded passion for color these two i already had uh let's see might as well go ahead and swatch them uh and i'm not going to swatch everything but this is the affection palette everything in this palette is satiny or shimmery so you have to use a palette with some good mattes in it and elephant in the room is that one right there so of course i'm going to swatch that one and that one is gorgeous I am also going to swatch this red one. This red one is nice and soft and creamy. And that is this one right here. Quality is awesome. I'm going to swatch this one here right beside it. Also nice and creamy. And these palettes, mind you, are $7 a piece. Uh, we'll swatch this one right here at the top. This one is not so creamy, but... It goes on very smoothly it's right here and then the last one we'll swatch is like this one that can be used for like an inner corner highlight and we'll swatch that one right there so seven dollar palettes amazing to me amazing quality like I said in my previous like my makeup basket video these the eyeshadows that I have on today one is makeup revolution and the other one is abh sultry i can't like look at like if you saw me on the street is what i'm trying to tell you wouldn't be able to tell that i have on eyeshadows from two different eyeshadow palettes the makeup revolution palette held up very well against the abh palette seven dollars versus 45 dollars um the next one that i've had for a while i am just going to do swatches from like the colors that interest me the most the first one that pops up is that blue right in the center at the top and it is very creamy and gorgeous um and then you have this green one here this one does have a couple of mattes in it at first i thought this one was all shimmery too but it does have a couple of mattes this is that green one and my hand is kind of wet so but this one is not quite as pigmented as the blue, but still really, really nice. We are going to swatch this pink one right. It looks like a pinky purple right here in the center. Very pretty. I am going to go with this purple here because purples are hard to do well. But that one is pretty good. It's a little patchy. Let me do it one more time. It is a little patchy, but it can be built up. It's gorgeous. And we'll do one more from this palette. Navy blue or the deep purple. Let's do both of them. So we'll go with this. All right, so my memory card filled up and I had to delete some stuff. But this is the navy blue that I wanted to swatch. And then I wanted to swatch the purple here at the bottom in the corner which is nice and creamy and that is what that purple looks like so this is the passion for color the majority of the shadows are either shimmery or satin and then you have a matte orange here and then you have a matte sort of burnt orange here everything else is sort of shimmery or satiny so this is another one that you would probably have to pull another eyeshadow for. All right, so now we are going to get into the shadows that I just picked up from uh, uh, the Revolution London website. And they took about a week or so, maybe a little bit longer than a week to get to me, but strangely enough it was i had to order it from the revolution beauty london website but they came from a u.s address i don't know what happened to the revolution beauty um usa website i can't find it anymore but i did pick up all four of the new reloaded palettes and i also picked up the um 
Forever Flawless Constellation Palette and the Forever Flawless Optimum Palette. So we're going to start with the Reloaded Palette. This one is called the Hypnotic and this one you can kind of tell by looking at it that it is sort of a dupe for a higher end palette and I had to reach and pull that out. It is a dupe for the ABH Soul Tree palette. This one has an extra shade in it which is this sort of bluish silvery color here. I did my eyes today and you will see that video later on in the week with one eye with the Revolution eyeshadow palette, the Hypnotic palette, and one with the ABH eyeshadow palette. And let me know which one you think is the ABH and which one is the Revolution. But we're going to do some quick swatches. So I am first going to swatch this one that's not in the ABH palette, this little silvery one, which feels really creamy. And pigmentation is amazing. We're going to swatch this one, which I have in my crease today, this little peachy color. That's a dupe for the ABH palette. And it looks like that, really pretty. And it, it held up very well to the ABH palette. <clears throat> we are going to swatch this one right here, which I use on my inner corner. This one is not that pigmented and it didn't show up as bright in my eyes as the ABH so I had to kind of keep packing it on. Um, I will swatch this one here nice and creamy and nice and smooth and pigmented and then one more mm, let's see let's go with another matte we'll do this dark brown here and we will swatch that there this one is a little bit streaky but can definitely be built up so that is the i keep forgetting the name of this one that is the hypnotic palette the next one that i picked up sort of reminds me and this is called the smoky neutrals this one sort of reminds me of the original Naked palette. Like especially with these colors here. But this is what this looks like. And I am going to first watch this little creamy color here that I would use as a brow bone highlight. And it is very creamy. And it is right here. Actually, let's watch the one right beside it and also really creamy and pretty pigmentation is amazing it is so like reflective that it almost comes out like a white but when i turn my hand you can see it looks like that um let's do this one down here in this corner this one is really pretty and this one oh my god this is really a pretty color and let's do two more let's do this color here gorgeous and uh, let's do this matte color down here at the bottom this one is kind of crumbly I don't know what kind of color to call it. it's definitely not a like a pure black it doesn't look it looks like it has a little bit of blue in it to me at least from what I'm looking at here so that is it that is the smoky neutrals palette that is a really pretty palette if you wanted that um, original naked palette, but you weren't able to get it, I say pick this one up. The next one is really pretty and it has your red and some purples and some peaches in it. This is the Red Alert palette. And let me grab me another wipe here because we are going to do some swatches. And these palettes, once again, are $7 a piece but well worth the money and very comparable to some higher end palettes that I have. This is what the Red Alert palette looks like. You have a lot of mattes in this palette. I think you have more mattes in this palette than you do um, like shimmers or satins. 
first one that comes to mind that I want to swatch is this one right here and it feels decently mm, it feels decently creamy and it can be built up but a little patchy we are going to swatch this red color here this one's really pretty it's almost like a orangey sort of metallic-y red shade that is really pretty um we're gonna do of course this pink one right in the middle and that one was creamy as well and this is a matte and this one came off really well we are going to let's do sort of this sort of coral color here and my fingers are wet i don't want my fingers to be wet okay and we'll swatch that one that one feels decently creamy as well kind of crumbly but you can blend it out and let's go with this shade here this one as I'm looking at it, it looks like a duochrome and we'll, yes it is this one is gorgeous like if as I'm showing it to you on the camera it looks gold but to me when I'm looking down I can see the shift from like a peach to a gold you can kind of see it there from a peach to a gold this palette I don't this is um not a dupe or anything it's just absolutely gorgeous and we have a green one so we're gonna get to swatching this green one i'm gonna use my other hand this hand is getting a little bit sore but this one is called the deep dive and this is what it looks like of course you have your blues and you have your greens and you have a little bit of gold and a little bit of purple some people are saying that this is sort of a dupe or close to the jeffree star blue blood palette um, I don't know. I guess you can get the same effect, but we shall see. The first one that comes to my mind to swatch is the one dead center, and I'm going to put that down here, and we will swatch. That is gorgeous. I want to swatch this matte blue here. I mean, it looks like a bluish purple. It does remind me of that one from the Jeffree Star palette that looks blue in the pan and purple on your hand. This one is kind of patchy but gorgeous. I want to swatch this matte sort of avocado green color. And sort of dry and sort of streaky, but it can be built up. That's pretty. Um, I want to put my finger in this one right here. I'm putting the wrong finger in it uh, for some reason I still have we'll go right here because I have something on my hand that is gorgeous and let's do one more let's do this color down here in the corner and we'll just watch that one right there really pretty really pretty so yeah i think you could probably get the same effect out of this palette as you do that jeffree star palette if you are someone who does not want to purchase the jeffree star palette for one reason or another one this one is indeed an option for you so this is the deep dive palette those were the four reloaded palettes and i did pick up two of the forever flawless palette I have been wanting these things for since I came out and when I ordered mine they were not yet available in Ulta they are now available in Ulta the decadence one which is the warm colored one and I'll try to put like a, a screenshot of it up here that one is out of stock it's even out of stock on the uh, makeup revolution website which means it's very popular but I did go ahead and pick up like another one from Ulta though after I got these two but we're going to see I have heard such good um, reviews of this palette now this one I absolutely had to get this one like was just screaming at me so I had to pop this one out pop this one I had to, to, to get this one 
and it is also said to be sort of an alternative not necessarily a dupe to that new ABH I don't know the name of it but I'll put the name up here somewhere that new ABH sort of it reminds me of like a nautical theme palette but this is what this one looks like and we are going to get to swatching this palette before I do that well yeah we just want to get to swatching this palette all right so just to show you that this is the constellation palette and how they have it sort of decorated with the constellation and it comes in a tin and it is very secure it has a snap closure and not a magnetic closure which makes it a little bit more secure if you want to travel with it the colors are absolutely gorgeous and like I did with the other ones I am going to sort of swatch the ones that appeal to me the most if by the way I did mention you want me to do like a more in-depth video of any one of these palettes please let me know in the description or if you want to see a look with either one of these let me know in the description also but the first one that jumps out at me is this bright pink here which is called venus and we're going to swatch that nice and creamy and this is what it looks like on my my finger and that is what it looks like swatched um, as i'm looking at it in person a little bit patchy but not bad at all the next one I'm going to swatch is this purple because like I said purples are kind of hard to do well so we will swatch that also kind of a little bit patchy but this looks like it can be built up nicely and blended nicely so as I blend it here you see it kind of smoothed out we're going to do this pink here dimension and this is sort of a satin shade, nice and smooth. It also has, this is beautiful. It also has like a blue undertone to it. So like duochrome. Um, we're going to swatch Jupiter right here. And this is a matte also. This one actually is not patchy at all. And let's do a couple of these blues. Let's do Neptune here, which is a royal blue satin color. And that is what Neptune looks like. And I'll also do Night Sky. Night Sky is more of a navy than a royal blue. And we'll swatch them side by side. When you swatch them side by side, they almost look alike. This one is Neptune and this one is Night Sky. They almost look alike. And let's do one more. I am going to do this one called Cluster. Cluster is right here. And I don't know how it is sort of, it's like a gunmetal sort of dark not quite oh that one is amazing that one is amazing so this is the constellation palette I'm glad i picked that one up wow and that one would have spread all over my hand had i um kept going all right so the last palette that i picked up is the optimum palette the optimum palette the packaging looks like ice it looks like broken up ice and then this is the back of it and just like that one it has the snap closure this is what the shadows look like and I'm gonna get my third wipe here and get to swatching the first one that I think I'm going to swatch is the shade Warrior. And that is this shade here because it's sort of different than any other thing that I have in my collection. I believe, I don't think I have anything quite like this. This is like a grayish green. Really pretty. So that is 
Warrior. I am going to swatch Greatest, which is here. Another sort of green, bluish green color, which I think is perfect to swatch it right beside that one. So you can see the difference in the two. I am gonna swatch Advantage, which is here. And let's see. These are absolutely amazing in this palette. Let's do a couple of the mattes. I'm going to do this green here, Fighter. And ignore my strange noises. This one, it looks, well, it does. It's sort of a bluish green. It came off a little bit streaky, but it can be blended out. And I want to do this one that I would probably use in my crease. This one is called Flawless. And this is what Flawless looks like. So the mattes are a little bit powdery. I do want to do one more. And that is the shade Outstanding right here. This one looks like a light blue in the pan. Let's see what it looks like. It almost looks white on my hand, but it's a light, a really, really light blue in the pan. So let's do one more, one more, one more. Own. And that's this one right here. I'm sorry I got it upside down. And let's just watch that one right there. This one. Just it's like just like all the other mattes. It's a little bit streaky, but they can be blended out nicely. So that is the Optimum palette. These here are getting a lot of good reviews. I mean, if you want me definitely to do a look, let me know. The quality seems to be really, really good. Like Revolution Makeup or Makeup Revolution or Revolution or whatever they want to be called are really, really, really stepping up their game as far as their eyeshadow palettes. They are also coming out with a lot of skincare items. Some of their items are a little bit too, hmm, I want to say on the childish side, like the donuts and the Easter eggs and stuff like that. I will probably stay away from those, but I like me a good old fashioned palette. So I will keep looking out for them for their palettes. I do want to get that decadence. I got the, and let's see if I can find what the name of it was. It's called the Unconditional Love Palette. Let's see if I can show you. So I picked up this one from Ulta. So we will probably be doing a look with that one as well. I am very impressed with the quality of um, Revolution Makeup's products here lately. I also um, ordered, what do they call it? Um, it's some kind of oil. It is, what is a primer oil? But it's some kind of oil you're supposed to put on up under your makeup. And it's supposed to help your makeup to spray more evenly and last all day long. So I am definitely going to be doing a video on that one as well. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, like I said, if you want to see more in-depth reviews on any of the palettes, let me know. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.